is going to be lingering by A, but once they get to a retake position, if they even need to, you figure that that very well could come through and give TSM left. a small advantage, but it just comes down to can they hold this initially? Som on the way in. He's not able to lock down the first. Gets it eventually, but Hayes is there for the immediate trade. Run it back is coming through for a drone who isn't able to find the player at long, but Hayes already in the site has cleared up a lot of the pressure. Hayes has found four. There's one more member left. It's that. That's a 1v3 for him. He's getting pitched left. from behind. There's not enough time for him to even pick up the spike. And Daps is just trying to make it interesting with kills. He does find one and will back away, try to save his life. But what a hold for TSM. What a hold for Hayes. That was all him. Wardell getting caught out. I see Wardell just running from A to get there. This could be a nice easy pick if Sabrosa just beats it. It's not been watched. But he misses oh, all of the shots. No. That's a disaster from Sabrosa. He gets taken out. Oh no, Sabrosa, not your best moment for sure. Spike gets planted. Again, the retake is going to be all on what is mostly pistol upgrades. Wardell still holding on to the operator. We'll try to assist, but this is just going to be down to, can you maybe sneak this defuse? Hot hands will deny the initial attempt from drone. Dark cover should dissipate here soon. Span shots coming through. Paranoia, that's already halfway. No way. That's going to look pretty solid for almost the full defuse. Are you able to stop it? But it's again, halfway through. But just as they try to go on one more time, it's just down to Wardell. He'll find one more pick and do the same thing. He'll back away again. And it was really well played from NRG. Like that B execute where you plant towards mid pub get kind of game, like pug in game. They're really giving respect to an opponent that a lot of teams really haven't been. Well, here comes the execute for C with 15 seconds to play. Drone will catch some instance of Kohler on the outside of the dark cover and then spamming through it will confirm the kill. But the spike still planted. Hunter's Fury available, but you could already see that for EU, he's actually not going to be playing through C long. He's going to be playing in the garage window. Going to have a little bit of help here, and this is a different angle. Now trying to go for the retake. Wardell's going to hit the blade storm. Sabrosa coming in. We'll find one. Drone is able to find another, and everything comes down to Sam. Curveball comes through, and this is a 1v3. He'll be zoned out by the hot hands. Wardell finds the easy shot, and the retake will be good for TSM to tie it at four. Yeah, really nice retake from them. Nice garage control to take those kind of fights. And they do have a hunt them if they plant for the retake. It is going to be planted for long, though. And this Fury is actually going to be used early just to try and catch this play. But Sabrosa in the look gets caught up by Daps. Completely red at this point, and it's a 4v4. And yeah, there's a trade there for a drone, but Sabrosa was everything for this potential retake early, at least for TSM. So now in a 4v4 with no ultimates to break through, you're going to have to either try to find a way to brute force your way in from the front, or hope that drone on the backside can find a couple of kills. He's going to try to make this play through C long. Three members will make their way onto site at the moment. Kohler is diligently watching for this angle. Takes care of drone. Now the hunter's fury to come through to stop for any sort of attempt for the defuse. Kohler is able to find one more elimination. Shock darts will come through. And not going to be opportunity for Cutler to hold. A beautiful save there through as, again, things were looking dicey for a moment with the retake. The area of TSM across the map, they would look better on the attack, but this is some good damage coming in from NRG. They go at least into halftime, even on score, but they might come in with a lead because that's a nice kill onto Cutler. Spike is still being left over towards A lobby. You've got Drone and Wardell that are stacked up through A short. Again, this is going to be a round that they're going to have to save and try to punish as much as possible. That's not bad. But as Wardell get immediately traded, EU's able to find the shock dart, and now we've got a 4v2 as NRG are looking to put themselves up 7 4. EU's been looking good so far, but it's some that's about to sort of try and win the fight. Nice spraying onto Hayes. It's just going to be Sub Rosa now on A shot with the Sheriff left with something. He has Empress, but in a 1 versus 4. Nah. It might be a case of just trying grab. Okay, the Phoenix is still over at B. Let's let him exist. Let's make this rotation through C Garage. Nice paranoia coming through for Hayes. He gets a oh, line up oh. of three, but doesn't get the fourth. Some there for the immediate trade, but is it too costly? 20 seconds and a reset for NRG. I think they fell right into TSM's trap there. A lot of nice pressure from NRG, but TSM sort of read the play, left. had a lot of players stacked up in that position. And Hayes, yet again, with another solid paranoia, being able to follow through on the end. The spike is maybe good. I don't think there's enough time. Nah, oh, just oh. not enough. But that's a corner, and he should get this spike down successfully. Yeah, the fact that NRG stacked full play, you don't do that just willy-nilly, to be honest. I feel that that's something where they saw TSM executing on A with a pistol quite a lot, that they tried to play around it. It didn't work. So this retake is going to be a bit of an awkward one, even in a 5v5, time sort of ticking away. So Brosa's wanted to try and face as much as possible, but he gets hit by the paranoia and the recon bolt. Cole gets first blood. 
Kohler really showing up on these retakes so far. Down to 37 HP, 5v3, and again, this spike in the back corner is very spammable. Wardell finds one, Shock Dart gets another, Hayes able to find himself three in a row. EU cannot hold off, even though the spike was put down. And actually, pardon me, it actually does fully get the Key amount of distance into Garage, he's gonna have Another duelist prop him up, but Daps is gonna peek at the right opportunity. He was waiting there the whole time. He can pick up two. Straightforward round. The rest of TSM gonna be breaking in onto the C site, but they get hit by another great paranoia. And Daps just holding this corner from Garage is gonna find a third kill. Knows where the fourth would be looking for the ace. Ah, gonna go to the classic, but he will be denied it. Now, part of the EU actually confirmed the final kill. Over onto the players push through is not just one, but three different members that are going to be here. Aldron trying to scout their way through. Good shock dart placement, though. And as Daps finds one more lurking through a main, that's going to be a Spectre upgrade into an AR. And even though, yes, you're going to get the spike down, you're trapped on site right now if you're TSM. You really need to hope that Wardell can find a couple of picks, and he does find the first. Blazewell will come through. That will allow rotation for those members that were lurking through Simon to come on in. Nobody expects Cutler to sit as close as he was. There is a one-for-one -one trade, but this is all costing time and TSM in the meantime will be in a 3v1 as Wardell locks down three make it four kills Wardell to try and take down as many people as possible but this is going to be much tougher than the pistol round that's for sure that's for damn sure one for one trade though Kohler trying to come through a lot of information off the recon bolt Kohler for two Wardell trying to stay alive Hunter Siri trying to deny as much time as possible off this deep use and a couple of lineups for Cutler but the stick will be a struggle from here on out Wardell's able to find one, and with that, it looks like this is actually going to be a hit over to B. From the shadows will be spent. Hayes going to get into the back towards Gong. Sabroza, good damage. Hayes confirms, and more team shots coming through as Sabroza cleans up Effies. So a 5v2 situation, and NRG are going to have to decide what exactly do you want to do here with no ultimates and an economy that is not going to be super healthy yet. Do you just try to play for exits, or do you stay more passive and just play for the save? Yeah, I think it was my mistake saying that they were on a save. I think it was just going to be... It's going to be the Phoenix at that point. It's going to be drones sort of pushing along. But it's gone relatively well. Some, much like Wardell on the defense looking to save the operator, isn't afraid to give up his position. Because if you're TS... ...a corner that will allow for the abilities to find some big damage, but defensively, EU gets this big value out of a shock dart, bringing drone just down to 34 HP. Also getting read, there is one player in the corner. Just waiting for the hit. Recon Bolt will come through first. It'll be immediately destroyed. Kohler on the way in. He'll find one. One more in the corner. Tries to play for the weapon. Good help from Sam. And now it's just down to TSM on their post plant, trying to hold off the... Kohler's gonna find one. Wardell falls. Up Wait, trap. Nickels over. over the top. He's not gonna find Sabrosa, who spams through the dark cover. He'll double up in TSM, able to clutch up the round. A couple players are making some noise. Also, a couple players jumping around, and with that, Kohler will hit the run it back, try to push forward to see if he can find any kills. Gets an opportunity at one, but will be pushed back. And now Sabrosa, with the Empress, tries to get through and see Garage. Kohler actually gets a frag onto Wardell in that period, too. So he goes down. He's going to be pushing mid. He's watching this angle. Using the ultimate very early means that he won't have it, obviously, for the rest of this round where it could be very useful. But Sabrose has given his position. A nice little shoulder peek was enough. But he wins that engagement. Empress is down. It's a four versus two. It's a massive pickup. If the Empress gets reset there, there's an opportunity to pull the flank through. But that's normally plays C Garage. This time inches forward to the C site itself. What well, the utility used early? Shock Dance aren't going to be available for EU, and they've been very impactful in some of these retakes. It's very slow. Glacial, almost, from NRG, who might just consider saving the guns. That's a really nice paranoia. The song dash into the smoke spray and hoping that he can get a frag onto Haze. He can, but there's still so many other players on TSM on the side. Oh, but they're able to go away with some nice trades. Last one left. It's down to the Sabrosa for a 1v2, but the spike needs to be defused up top. Daps is going to overwatch it. He's going to find his third kill. And NRG on map point, 12-9 up. And TSM, they should still be over. Retake that we saw before. No real ultimates to work with. Waddell gets that opening, though. That's going to be big for them. That's a really risky play from the side of NRG. It's unnecessary. You get the first, you get the first blood. 
that might be enough for you to put this map away. Daps, though, is going to have to find a couple of kills as the spike makes its way forward. The spike is going to be down. Daps has found a third. Neural Theft now coming through. Wardell's position will be revealed. Is he going to find a fourth kill? Tries to do a little bit of red dot chasing, but Cutler punishes. 2v3, but Kohler's on the back. He's going to find the first. Everything comes down to Wardell. Not going to find it. NRG straight. Onto the site, but there's a lot of people from NRG stacked over, and that paranoia is clutch. Showstopper for Sabrosa actually comes up empty. Not even a lot of damage confirmed off of it. So all left. of a sudden, TSM are gonna have to find a different way to enter onto the site. Effies is holding his right, but does he recognize that there are a number of members here to the left? Only finds one, should have had a lineup, I think, in his mind, and many others. And with Wardell able to find the shot with the operator, now all of a sudden it's a 3v2, and TSM should get this spike down without much contest. You do have Sam who's left. trying to contest this, comes out of the cloud burst. He finds two and a beautiful flashpoint forward for EU, making use of the breach again. I love the way that you just said without much context that then Som's like, I'm just going to get a triple kill. <laughs> it was just complete sword point. Daps another cheeky camera position. Is going to read the information that here comes the hit towards eight. Daps up top is good for one. Som another. Cutler will find at least one trade, but that'll be likely about it. Hayes does make remaining. things interesting with a couple of kills. He's going to hit the shroud instead, pick up the spike, and not going to have enough time to commit. He would have had if he just held on to it, but instead, maybe second guessed himself a touch through right down the middle. Sam, good for one. Tailwind away. Stays alive. That's how key is this. Oh my goodness. One more up front. Close to the personal. Close to the classic, but flash beyond belief. Cutler for two. That'll open up space onto the A site, but trades are decent for NRG. They'll have a numbers advantage to 3v2 for the retake. And TSM don't really have much ground to hold on to in this two versus three. You can see them wrap around the paranoia he misses though, but that gives away the position of where Effies is playing from. So they are going to be pushed onto site. Nice pick from Cutler. He can't win that, but it's a two versus one. Drone have any operator. It's going to be able to break it down. He knows Effies was coming from A main. Does he expect him on the site? Does he expect him on the spike? He does now because the defuse was tricked. But with the operator now sat in the smoke, he needs to have reactive aim. Is he going to be expecting? Oh! Uh, just. How confusing is that right there if you're looking at it from Sabrosa's POV? Wardell good for one. Double updraft coming through. Som not quite great with the knives in that position. Kohler with a showstopper of his own. Takes down Trone and absolutely puts Cutler on critical HP. He's by himself for a 1v4. No chance there at our cyber cage. And that will be enough for TSM to get pushed back as Daps pushes forward. He does go one for one, but is it going to be enough as TSM now have the numbers? They aren't really sure what to do with this space now that they've taken it, though. Four versus three. They can't afford to slow down the play a little bit. Haste is in a nice spot, but Som is very cautious of what's coming in behind him. Fully paranoid, he's going to smoke himself out. Again, manages to survive in a very huh. difficult position. Effie's not dedicating to the from the shadows, having to rotate all the way around. So NRG are going to be a little bit like to execute on this retake. But they have some nice positioning already. EU has heaven control. Man, Effie's, I think, would really, when he watches that back, would love to have made himself potentially committed. His drone, curveball forward. He's going to deal with the operator of Sock. Effie's also flashed up. Not going to find the kill. EU's good for one, but Cutler, he'll stay alive. It was Effie's who was trying to find that angle. Couldn't quite confirm the kill. And he's in a 1v3 with a lot of time already ticking away. So Brosa will punish. And TSM, as you mentioned, his defense was right through middle to A tower. Can they find the kills, though? Som, a lot of damage confirmed. Comes with a jump peak. Wardell for two. Now it's just down to EU. And he really can't challenge this by himself. He'll give it a go. But Wardell will find four kills. And TSM just to grab an ultimate orb. So you at home can decide if it's worth the value. So Brosa oh, no. caught with the boom bot out, but Hayes is there for at least a trade, and the boom bot will actually stop the rest of it, mostly from coming through quickly. Hayes is good for a second. EU trying to find a multiple, but Hayes is good for three. So in 2v2, Effies will be allowed to get the spike planted, but there will be the attempt for a retake as you've got high ground control and the ability to push through bottom dirt. That's a lot of information that Daps was able to get at least. Wardell can't afford to take the tag out. He actually gets taken out, and Daps can at least see where Drone is. He has to peek aggressively here. He's going to take that fight. Nice peek onto Daps. Oh, really clutch play from Drone there. TSM desperately needed that, but it was all off the back of Hazed anchoring onto that site. It was so tricky to kill. 
even after Sabros had got caught with his boom bot in his hands and his trousers down, Bait is going to go it and be contested instantly. But that's a nice fault line instantly to try and stop this play from coming through. It slowed down quite a lot. Som doesn't know drones there. Oh, and he's going to find the pick plus another. How clutch has drone been on this defensive side? A number of moments where he finds himself in one face. Needs to find a one least pick. Well, how about this? Kohler on the backside will at least get information. That's a weapon corralled. He'll drop that for daps. From the shadows, exactly it's going to be spent. Hayes is going to commit to this. There's one player nearby. It was EU, but isn't able to find the kill. That would have been a big pickup for NRG in the hope of an eco, but as they lose some of their biggest kill potential of Som, it's going to be a 4v2. Sabroza really wanted to make this 11th round come through. Cleanly spends the showstopper. Wardell's good for the kill. Daps last player left alive. I don't know what happened to his Phantom, but he was running with the Sheriff instead. And it will be... Long Thunder Paranoia. That's all spent over to the top side of B-Tower. Nothing to break off from Wardell. to the city. Oh, oh, oh. over the Showstopper. Cutler's good for one. But NRG on the way through. They're still alive left. for this attack as EU comes away with a double. And FEs will plant the spike. spike this is going to be tough now. FE shrouded step right into the corner. Hayes still has the Paranoia. Drone still has both of his flashes. This is a lot of key utility for TSM to make use out of. They're going to execute together. That's a really nice aftershock that's going to create a bit of space. But now it's a one versus two. Hayes gets caught. know how costly this round is. Waddell is going to be facing on mid. Can get one, can dash out with the, his life. Is he going to hold on to mail though? NRG again not giving up what they want, which is the middle of the map. The flashpoint able to free EU forward. Also, you got to keep your eye on... Daps, who's lurking over through A, nearby is Drone. Other side of this ramp wall from him. Cyber Cage will come down. This peak could be everything, and Drone finds the kill. 5v3 for TSM, trying to send things to overtime, and NRG are trio stacked up top of B Tower. Yeah, they've read this so well. NRG might be expected in a pretty open side, but there's a lot of crossfires in. That's a really nice flash, though. So Bros are taken out. Paranoia hits Som, who's going to continue pushing, using all of his smokes to try and make some space. Haste is at least good for one of EU. The running back is going to be used on the defended side. Effies is the last alive. He's going to try and teleport out, but he gets caught. We're going to overtime. Unbelievable. But we can take it to a third map. That map being Ascent. If TSM can win this next round on the defense. Nice shot from Wardell just before the cloud burst fully gets developed. Som though for one, Wardell's able to find a second. That'll stall things again for NRG. Wardell for three, one more below him. There's gonna be a trade for EU, but this will be a 1v4 situation for him. He does have the spike to play with, has the idea on where Drone is. There's another elimination, has Haze up top. But hey map is TSM during this take, but NRG will be allowed to get control of the tree room and garden as they look to set up their post punt. The one thing that they're not gonna be expecting no is Sabrosa all the way on the back side. It just comes down to the timing of this hit right here. That was so dangerous because there's this massive gap now where all of NRG are funneling through onto Tree. You've got Sabrosa though that's been completely uncontested. He's good for two. Tries to get the headshot onto Effies, but he is the last alive. I was so worried for TSM with how open that they were going to be to be explored. But at the same time, Daps tries to peek off of it. Wins that engagement even with the smoke coming down to try and mask it. So immediately, NRG had the man advantage. And considering how low Drone is here, he still manages to survive in one Cola trying to face him, and he gets the frag. Wardell's able to find another one. So now the A-site's wide open. Som can't really truly challenge. But as the smokes start to dissipate, the spike will be planted. And Som, I don't know if he recognizes this, but all three members are in front of him. Gets a read on the second. He will find the headshot before Drone finds the kill. Good flash coming through. Drone for his third, looking for the 1v1. Down to 37 HP, oh, now it. down to 11. And the running back is not going to be spent to do too much besides give an extra life. There's going to be the first kill. No chance for him to recoup after the teleport back. And Daps will add a little bit of extra sauce at the end as he wins the 1v1 and gets the defuse. I really like the run it back because if he dies in that scenario, he goes from being like 10 HP to being full health. Cover the nice key pick. And yet again spreading themselves across the map, trying to get in behind and lurk in that position. FPs has the door closed in on him, and with guns like this, he needs all of the ammo that he can get. So certainly pay attention to Daps, who's wrapping in all around. I think the Silver is going to be watching it. He's going to be checking it at least at that point. The shots don't really hit NRG. Daps at least is going to be forced back a little, and this retake isn't looking that good. 
Well, it does open up the opportunity for energy to push forward, knowing that TSM had to respond to this player on the potential flank. Their cover set, Recon Bolt not finding much EU right above. As he drops, he's gonna find one. EU looking for more now. Dark cover through, there's the shock dart. EU gonna find one more. It's down to a 1v1, he clutches it up, but there's not enough time for the defuse. So TSM, they will find themselves up four to one here early offensively. Right, this is gonna be a hit right onto his location. Hunter Series gonna come out, here comes the challenge. And Kohler's only good for one initially. Cutler, though, with the Hunter's Fury, has cleared up some space for this hit to come through. Sam trying to stay alive. Down to 55 HP. Effies! What a transfer! He finds himself, too, looking for a third at range, but Wardell is able to make things now down to a 1v2. Gets a read on one player through the tree. Predicts you correctly, but doesn't hold the angle long enough. And NRG, they take the must-win round. And I just for the kill, so Kohler will clean things up. Not a lot of trigger discipline, so case there. So now Sam, how many is he good for? There's the first, number two through. Third one in the corner, but it's a double peek that comes out and Hayes will be able to find the punish. So 3v3, a couple weapons should be picked up and Wardell will find one more pick onto Effies who was looking for an aggressive challenge. And now NRG trying to break this up with a 2v3. Nice shots for Daft, but doesn't confirm the kill. The spam shots though are good. EU also committed to Hunter's Fury, will be challenged from the side. Hayes with the pick. Dash through the wall again. Now to a 1v1. And I think he's got a beat on where exactly Sabros is playing. Knows he's in the archway, but time is becoming a consideration. Who's got the better reaction? It's going to be Sabrosa, a thrifty round for TSM. Joke's over. And the back is going to be used. Paranoia is a nice counter to it. It finds very little over that the Omen's on site. He can teleport out though, but it's Daps and Kohler to get so many frags. Three versus three now. It's a bloodbath, but it's slowed down now to a nice 2v2. And the Empress from Kohler doesn't find too much. Effies can't find his counterpart of Hayes, so now it's just down to EU. One member down to critical HP. That's Hayes, who's down to about a bullet. Oh, Shock no. Dart uh, did not get the bounce that he was hoping for. Recon Bolt will find a bit of information. He is able to confirm some damage, but not a kill. So will he actually know that both players are not just positioned in lower hell, but are also down to a couple of bullets? You make it to play. Gets onto sight. Spam shots are there. Hayes with his third kill cleans things up. Defensively, two players stacked nearby. Sabrosa, good for the first. Not necessarily the second. Bladestorm getting there, but no, not going to connect. Daps exactly will finally get the kill, but oh boy, is it a punishing one. You've got no more Bladestorm available for you. TSM looking prime to attack onto A. Hayes is making a lot of noise, and Cohen will respond to it. That's going to be a Vandal picked up for him. So now a 3v3. Weaponry becoming a little bit more formidable by the moment here for the defense, but Cutler will still stick for the plant. And there's no smoke on the post plant now for the attackers. So that doorway is just going to be a real pain for them. They have to use up the jet smokes now because the omen is down. And this is the direction they're coming from. They want to exploit this as much as possible. Guns still aren't ideal. But all three of these defenders potentially coming through. Wardell is actually going to dash onto site. But that's a really nice paranoia yet again coming out of Effies. But he gets cut out by Drone. Cola can't trade. Drone gets free. This is getting too close to call for TSM and some- And for NRG, they will get this spike down successfully. Shock darts will provide a little bit of damage for TSM, but no kills to speak of as of yet. And you still have Daps who's watching the long flank. So as they start to build this information, NRG are gonna recognize that this threat will 100% be from the front. Wardell, he's good for the first kill. Now there's potential for numbers. Kohler, low HP, he gets caught out. Look but at that, that Effie's also false. Daps trying to play for the flank has to go massive. There's the first. He gets good help from EU for the second. It changes the weapons out, but Hayes is there for the easy kill. And TSM will retake, and it won't even be all that costly as they find themselves up 11 to 4. Yeah, I really like the flank from Daps, but that was just a solid. The layer comes through. He is going to spot heads. The hop in stops, and the recon bolt comes through. Cola gets a nice early frag. It's a 4 versus 4. But the Phoenix Flash comes through. Drone is under a lot of pressure. Excuse me. And this is going to be tricky as he goes down. So do I in yeah. this case. That's tough. The Col Drone's just hoping left. for some timing that everybody would turn around for the shots that were coming from mid-market. But he doesn't quite get the connections he was hoping for. Empress is going to be popped here for Kohler as they want to try to lock this down. TSM still showing force. Still have the 
advantage when it comes to playing with knowing that NRG are completely locked into the site with the only exception being EU. And if they can find this kill onto the Sova player, they will be in a 3v3. And there it is. There's the pick. Now all of a sudden you got to deal with Kohler in the back. The Empress will find the kill. Revealing area. And the recon bolt for Cutler, uh, it's not going to find anything. And at this point, TSM might have to give this up. Best case scenario, you get some and the rest of NRG that are trying to get off the site. Wardell's got the right idea. One Getting these exit ready. frags is going to be big. Oh, Who would no. imagine FE dies in that scenario? Bladestorm came out in the last round as well as the Hunter's Fury. Last ditch attempt now from NRG. Ooh. Decent first pick. But Kohler losing his life will also mean that the spike is down. And even though Sabrosa has fallen, they're trying to guard this weapon as TSM. And again, the Marshal's actually tagging pretty heavy. So some value here out of the forced purchase. A 4v4 will come through. But this is going to be a weapon picked up and corralled for NRG. This is still a doable 4v4. If they did that a little bit sooner, though, they could have used that Neural Theft. The body's gone a little bit cold now, so they can't do too much with it. And considering they're playing mid, it's a gamble. Do you run into the two on A or the two on B? The L drone is going to give them a bit of a, a lean on information, but look at how TSM play and they're just anchoring onto this site. You won't know they're there until you are there yourself, so it's going to be awkward for NRG to clear all of these angles. Drone knows that they're coming. This is it. Good help from Warden. A lot of trust there. Drone with the secondary peak will line up the other two. Double kill for him, spike on the site. Last hope for NRG to stay in the winner's side of Group B. Comes down to EU to extend the map. Might get an opportunity here for left. the first. That one's free on the Cutler, but the rest, I'm sure, will not be nearly as easy. How are TSM gonna play this though? Drone is actually gonna push up. If he gets caught out here, that's a big loss. He does. Oh, oh this has got interesting. Okay, EU has a recon bolt coming online in a second. Where's he gonna throw it? Ah, he's going to try to bounce it up.